As an app developer, the biggest problem you have is how can I show my wonderful creation to every user possible? And this isn't as straightforward as tell your friends. Users today are informed and use different channels to find, understand, and get apps. Did you know that three out of four users do some kind of a research before installing an app? Among all of those informed users, how do you attract new, interested users that will generate revenue for you? You don't just want a ton of users. You want a ton of users who love your app. So how do you weed through the herds of less than interesting users for the ones that truly matter for you? Here are three recommended methods. To attract new users, you could run an app install campaign on Google Search. These ads will be shown just to users who don't have your app. To find the users that are potentially most interested in your app, use installed app category. It can find new customers who have already installed apps from a related categories in Google Play or the App Store. And to find high-value users, use paid users targeting. It enables you to show ads to app users who have previously made purchases. For Android, you could also show ads to only those users who have made an in-app purchase within a certain category. In order to use this tool effectively, you need to understand these terms. Average revenue per user and lifetime value. Why? Because you can't manage what you can't measure. Average revenue per user, ARPU if you wish to sound like a pro, is a simple ratio that divides the revenue by the number of users in a time period. It gives you additional insight into how your campaign is really performing. It's not a rocket science. If revenue goes up and ARPU goes down, you are not attracting users that spend. Not so good. If revenue goes up and ARPU goes up, you are making more money out of your users. Good. And besides average revenue per users, there's another handy metric called lifetime value, or LTV, which is a new report in Google Analytics for apps. It allows you to understand the value of a user to your business. Rather than looking at an isolated session data, you can instead look at the ongoing impacts users have from the date of acquisition and through the rest of their activity. Lifetime value is especially important if you're running a user acquisition campaign. Your acquisition cost per user should not exceed the user lifetime value. So what happens when you combine average revenue per user, lifetime value, and our new API? Well, a developer agree try just that and ended up seeing five times improvement to their monetization. Excellent. On the next episode, we will see how to make money in games. Cool? Until next time, eat your vegetables, increase your user's lifetime value, and listen to your partners. <laughs>